okay so thank you all for your um very nice comments about uh, me giving a, a living sign and yeah so i thought why not just um, continue with making videos that um that are making f that are fun in the making so i haven't read everything so far but uh, i will definitely make sure i will try out these ideas you had for maybe future videos so but for today for this video i thought about revisiting um, a fragrance that i used to love and wear once but then i suddenly stopped wearing it and never con considered it anymore and i am also not sure how recent uh batches are of this one uh, you will probably guess uh, you will know what i mean when i come to this brand um so the 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 fragrance i'm talking about is um green irish tweed by creed uh yeah creed is like a fragrance brand that was hugely popular also to me uh, still hugely po hugely popular i guess but for me it lost its attractivity a lot because i was um frequently using aventus but i also realized that it that the bottles are getting weaker and weaker and weaker and I was not too happy anymore with the scent itself too. I, I thought it would it became just too clawing to my nose, too sweet. Uh, once it was a very very balanced and very smoky fragrance mixed with these pineapple fruit notes, birch and stuff. And now it's nowadays it's not where it used to be. I'm not a big fan anymore and. So I stopped buying it when, uh, when I ran out of juice. So, yeah, but I remember Creed, uh, Green Irish Tweet that I really loved the scent itself. I also got um, told that it smells really amazing on me. And yeah, I mean, let's let's give this one a try. This one is also one of the last uh, 75 milliliters bottles that were produced. I think it's also now only available in 50 milliliters or 100 milliliters. So let's give it a second. Do it like that. All right. So I could already smell a little bit of it. And wow, there it is, this, this scent many people associate with um, Cool Water by Davidoff. Uh, I'm not too sure if I can agree on this one. It's like, um, it is definitely a very, I'm sorry, I was a bit distracted there. It's a very special fragrance. You don't get this composition anywhere else, like maybe cool water if you have a lot of fantasy. But um, for example, Aventus has so many clones, awesome designer brands, like from Mont Blanc Explorer or or Hugo Boss even has a, has this this bottle this. Um, reversed i think it's, it's called it also has like aventus vibes to it and so many other clones of aventus in the designer brand also i think abercrombie and fitch uh authentic i think it smells a little bit like that but the green irish tweet i don't know one single designer brand that copies that one i heard that um michael jordan legend smells like green aventus we have a green, uh, green Irish tweet. I'm sorry, or was it Millesima Imperial? I think it was a clone of Millesima Imperial. So yeah, it's very unique. Definitely not too easy to wear. It's not an everyday scent in my eyes, even though it's of course um, wearable. But yeah, 
I have to say I I love it. I love it. I don't know why I haven't worn it at all the last years, but I think I will do I will do I will wear it again. Wow, it is really bright, very green. Wow, really amazing. Uh, I, I find it hard to distinguish any particular notes in there. But if it smells the same way today and it doesn't lack performance these days, then definitely try it out. If you haven't already, it's a real classic. Yeah, and of course, a bit of cool water, definitely, but not that much. I, I, I suggest, uh, I expect that also from a price that is way above. Uh, yeah, it's 10 times the price of a cool water bottle. So yeah, <laughs> it should should be more quality than that. So yeah, I hope you have a great evening. And thank you all so much for um, even uh, recognizing that I came back with the video so yeah i wish you all a great day and uh see you guys very soon i hope yeah i missed you i missed you i was just caught in a place where i don't belong bye